What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Friday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me on my socials at Sports Talk Matt. We have a lot of fun over there. Picks, plays, and conversations about everything in the sports world. This podcast can be found wherever you guys get your audio podcasts and video on the Betting Birds YouTube channel. If you want to watch this podcast each and every single morning, it is the end of June. We are going into the doldrums of sports, but hey, you know what? Thank you for being here. We appreciate you guys watching and being a part of it because it was a winning night last night. We are still slightly down for the week, but I was only down about like 0.1, like 1.7 units. So we won almost a unit last night. So we're down like, you know, less than a unit for the week. So we're very much in striking distance. We're going to need Tom Kim to figure it out. He's six strokes back on that head to head of the rocket mortgage. So he did not play well at all on Thursday. So we need him to kind of get going here. Cam Young shot five under. That's good. But he shot, you know, he's got a blow up round in the bag. I feel that's comfortable. There'll be one of those. So hopefully Tom Kim can figure things out and get us to the the window there for that bet. But, you know, we may need to have a little bit of a cushion for us to be able to have a, have a winning week here. But very much in play because we hit both WNBA bets last night. Baseball, I mean, it was 3-0 Cubs. Giants tie it 3-3. We go to the 10th two-run home run off the bullpen. 5-3 win for Chicago in 10 innings. So kind of a bummer loss there. And baseball is baseball, right? It's a, it's a roller coaster ride. So I'm going to come back and bet the same thing here on Friday. There's two WNBA games. Let's bet them again. And one baseball game that we're going to play. We'll start with the baseball game because the baseball game is pretty simplistic. The Dodgers are against the Giants. The, G- the Dodgers are on the road, and it's minus 110. Uh, Landon Knack is pitching. Landon Knack has been okay. One and one with a 2-1 ERA. He gave up zero earned runs in his start back on the 21st of June. Five innings against the Dodger, sorry, against the Angels at home. He beat the, uh, the team, beat the, the Reds. He went four and two-thirds, gave up one earned run. He lost 4-3 to the Diamondbacks. Five innings, one earned run. I mean, the guy... This season has pitched 25 and two-thirds innings, six earned runs. I mean, he's been pretty darn good, okay? Shohei Otani is on an absolutely stupid run at the moment. Ten consecutive games with an RBI, and I believe it's six out of seven or seven out of eight. He's hit a home run. If he does something tonight, he could become the first man in over 30 years to have one extra base hit, one run scored in one RBI in the same game for 11 consecutive games. I'm not fading Otani. I have a cheap price on the Dodgers. Dodgers lost. I mean, they've, they've been rolling right now. Dodgers have won uh, one, two, three, four straight, five out of six. Swept the White Sox, took two out of three, or took uh, so we're split against the Angels. It's... The Giants, it's their big rival. And I'm not saying the Giants aren't going to throw one of their best pitchers because Webb, Logan Webb is tremendous. Six and six with a 3.16 ERA. At home, he's a 2.06 ERA, four and two record. An opposing batting average of four of 243. 11 earned runs in 48 innings worth of work at home for Logan Webb. Tremendous, okay? He's having a very, very good year. It's a hitter's ball. It's a pitcher's ballpark, okay, in San Francisco. But... I don't care what it is. It's Otani. I'm betting on Otani. I'm taking the I'm digging the Dodgers. Dodgers money line, minus 110, 1.1 units down on that. All right. Two bets to talk about in the WNBA. Let's start with Connecticut hosting Atlanta. Now, this number is seven and a half, depending on the book you're looking at. 152 and a half is the total. I want to look at that. Now, the last game for the Connecticut Sun on the road went over, but the previous four games went under. Under 157, under 153 and a half, under 165 and a half, and under 153 and a half. So they're back at home now. And there are some interesting trends to watch with the WNBA. And I think it's worth kind of paying attention to here as to how these teams are playing because, you know, this, the, let's be honest. The sun could be the best team in the league. Okay. Atlanta's horrible. Let's just call a spade or spade. They're three and seven on the, or, or they're six and nine on the year. They are five and 10 ATS. 
they're eight and seven to the under, and Connecticut overall is ten and seven to the under. Last two games have gone over for uh, for Atlanta, but I think that's more to do with the fact that the team they're playing has scored a ton of points. Indiana scored ninety one. New York scored ninety six. They played this game already back on the second of June, sixty nine to fifty. The win for Connecticut. Under 159. Now the number is 152. And we're betting under. We're going to keep these teams down. I think, you know, you, you want to lay the home price on Connecticut. I don't mind laying it with Connecticut. 5-5 five and five ATS, though, over their last 10 games. 7-3. and three. Overall in the year, they're 7-10 and 10 ATS. They're not great. They're 8-1 straight up at home. I mean, they're really good at home. I think Connecticut wins the game. But I'm going to bet the under. Under 152.5 for 1.1 units for Atlanta at Connecticut. The late game, Sparks are at the Mercury. L.A., 6-4 ATS on the road this year. They're 8-7 ATS as a dog. They're 4-1 ATS over their last five games. That's the same record as Phoenix, however. Phoenix is 6-2 straight up at home. 1-9 straight up for L.A. on the road. 4-1 Four and one ATS, and they're six and two ATS at home. However, this number's ten and a half. This number seems heavy. Over the last ten games, Phoenix is seven and three ATS. I'll give it to you. Okay, last game out against Minnesota, they lost the game seventy three to sixty. Game went under, and they did not cover the five and a half point number. But the four previous games, really the five previous games for Phoenix, they won. And they covered all of them. There were dogs in a bunch of those games. And they won a bunch of them. Here tonight, they're laying 10.5 points. For LA, they've covered three games in a row, four of their last five. And they're covering big numbers. 14.5 against New York. 14.5 against New York. 13.5 against Connecticut. 12.5 against Minnesota. This number is 10.5 here tonight for LA on the road against Phoenix. These two teams played earlier in the year. At Phoenix, it was 87 to 68. Okay, so you say, well, Matt, they killed them. Well, yeah, but look at later in the year, different rotations, 10 and a half points. I think it's too heavy here. I like the way LA is playing. They're 8, 8, and 1 ATS overall in the year. They're 4 and 13 straight up. I'm not saying that LA is like this gangbuster of a team, but LA is covering big numbers. And I mean, oh, they've been they've been a double digit dog in one, two, three, four, five, six games of their last seven they've covered them all except once against seattle you know that they're, they're just they're covering big numbers they're losing but they're covering big numbers i'm gonna take the dog here plus 10 and a half la sparks on the road up against the phoenix mercury here for 1.1 units all right so three bets for us here on a friday we are going dodgers money line up against the giants for 1.1 units under 152 and a half in the early game between Atlanta and Connecticut, and we're going plus 10.5 on the dog price for the Sparks on the road against the Phoenix Mercury. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me across all socials, at Sports Talk Matt. Every single morning, wherever you guys get your podcasts, it's the Daily Juice.